Hi all. Today, just I want to give a an idea of career guide for a mechanical engineer and aerospace engineer. My name is Anil Kumar, and I will be uploading my videos under uh, Mechanism channel. So about me, I have around decade of experience in this engineering design field, working with different customers in the field. Whom can uh, get knowledge here, like freshers, career starters? or mid-level professionals. Firstly, uh, any mechanical engineer or aerospace engineer, they need to have clarity on their career. Like uh, they need to analyze themselves whether he is good at design engineering or whether he is good at analyzing the things or any expert in a software management roles or others. Secondly, uh, they need to understand whether I need to uh, earn more income or liberally uh, uh, liberal income uh, with respect to their degree or domain following that. For this, they need to set some short term goals. Accordingly, they need to improve their skills and set some long term goals to improve themselves and moreover they should have some clarity on whether they need to go for on-site assignments or not because based on that these things they can make a road map and they can make some uh, skill set enhancement in short term and eventually this skill set will build up a long term uh, skill set accordingly they can get a good opportunities in this career so introduction to the careers in engineering field what we will have aerospace domain uh, rail domain, automotive domain. Uh, if it is an aerospace domain, we'll be getting in a OEMs like Airbus or uh, Boeing and their suppliers and engineering service companies. In royal domain, also like Alstom, their suppliers and engineering service companies like our in uh, companies like Saint, uh, Tech Mahindra, so many as they do. Automotive domain, Tata, Renault, Nissan, Maruti, HR, these are the OEMs and their suppliers and engineering services where they will where we will be getting some opportunities. Like here, we'll be having some more things like oil and gas, home appliance, uh, heavy engineering domain, and medical domain. These are the domains where we have a different 
engineering fields where we can focus on our interest and we can make our career accordingly like automotive domain means you will have uh, a glimpse of a uh, parts which will be having an aerospace domain and rail domain this is the uh, for a uh, good idea rail domain other things home appliance means these are the things uh, for example purpose i'm just uh, sharing this so best cad software for mechanical engineer to serve the real world yeah they need to good at uh, engineering drawing skills like sketching in autocad or understanding the engineering uh, drawing to make them into three dimensional things uh, an engineer need to learn the things like catia unit graphics or creo if they want to make career in analysis they need to learn some uh hypermesh and says abacus so so here we'll be having like uh different path to make our career path in this engineering field of mechanical or aerospace engineer like we'll be having like engineering design manufacturing combination of our engineering and software and others so coming to our engineering design here uh, will be having like we can go as a design engineer stress engineer cfd engineer reliability engineer drafting engineer electronic mechanical engineer electrical tubing in electromechanical engineer we will be having electrical tubing piping that thing adding to this we will be having like technical publication engineer where uh, they will be making some uh, maintenance uh, documents and uh, in manufacturing we will be having sub uh, different domains like supply chain engineering uh, where uh, we'll be having an oems manufacturing engineers costing engineers quality engineers and configuration engineers and nc programmers coming to engineering and software field we can choose here like innovia de developer or uh, like a team center developer automation engineer data scientist uh, combination with our engineering relevant uh, things uh, in in this engineering and software field we can have little bit uh, earn little bit more uh, salaries in this uh, areas comparatively and still other fields also where we can concentrate like quality assurance engineers scrum master product engineers or any other managerial roles uh, in design engineer uh, generally will be uh, if they want to enhance their skill like they need to have a good knowledge in modeling like part design assembly approach and installation things coming to drafting they need to know how to make a part drawings how to make a assembly drawings installation drawings and others uh, coming to design knowledge they need to have some parametric designing relational layout modeling design standards and assembly approach manufacturing knowledge manufacturing methods costing and uh poco yoko uh, methods and gdnt design tools like uh 
to validate our design uh, we need to have tolerance stack up analysis failure mode effective analysis gdnt fastener selection and material selection and for as a design engineer just to give an idea these are uh, areas where internally we will be uh, making some um, uh, we'll be making some design areas stress engineer uh, for st uh, stress engineer they need to concentrate on hand calculation if we tools uh, tools analysis like ansys or abacus and adding to this they need to make some automation software uh, understanding and cat software little bit knowledge on those things will give a, a good uh, skill set adding skill set CFD engineer uh, similarly CFD engineer also they need to uh, learn some ICM CFD gamma and fluent and some hand calculation and automation uh, things like in excel or some DBA tools they need to have some adding skill set which will be helpful a reliability engineer understanding lifespan of a part or a system will be provided by a reliability engineer and they need to have some automation experience also reliability engineer uh, generally they will make like probability durability and dependability over quality over time availability so for a, 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 any part these people will be these engineers will be validating their uh, lifespan how much time uh, a part will sustain generally you can see um, for any product which we buy from outside they will be giving a guarantee and warranty information um, in uh, background, the reliability engineers will be uh, validating those things. Quality assurance engineer. Quality assurance system means uh, they need to have a, a certifications with respect to AS9100 revision D or AS9000 and these things they need to make some certifications and they need to work with engineering department and top management uh, like if you see some uh, picture over here uh, quality assurance here we will be having like uh, they, they will be a, a, uh, assuring the project like uh, if uh, processes wise and methodologies wise if the projects are adhering to that or not uh, these engineers will be validating them in our upcoming sessions we will be discussing on design engineer topics and we will be having a brief lectures on roles discussed or any support required thank you